underground, we start our story in a Disney laboratory, super duper confidential spot. Where a bunch of crackpot scientists said, what the heck, we're trying this, and grabbed up every story that we got. They threw them all together in a mashup machine, produced a glowing orb about the size of a bean, slid it underneath a microscope and found a bunch of cutesy characters just futzing around. Wait, are we sure this was a good idea? Uh... Hello, Teenies! I'm Molly McGee. And I'm Penny Proud. So excited to be hosting today with my new BFF Penny that I made these life-size cardboard cutouts of us hanging, which is so nice and definitely a normal thing to do. Uh, we can't wait to show you some chibi adventures. Plus, we'll be ending the show with an all-out epic chibi pet parade, where our favorite fur balls will show off their super cute skills. I can't wait for Puff to strut his stuff. Sugar Mama taught him to roll over, play dead, and pick locks. But first, let's read from our Chibiverse suggestion box. Okay, Chibiverse hosts shouldn't be able to date until marriage. Daddy! <laughs> Moving on. Our next suggestion says, Chibi villains should be in charge of the Chibiverse. Wait, what? Who wrote this? We did. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Chibi villains. Uh, why don't we try to sort out this nonsense? Let's watch some Proud Family Chibi Adventures.
instead of watching a super cute pet parade, you want to take over the Chibi-verse for nefarious purposes? That's right, human girl. For too long, these Chibi-verse celebrations have championed the saccharine, the adorable, the cute. Meanwhile, the Chibi villains have been forced to the sidelines, while our stories go untold. Yeah, and being cute is for losers. Hard disagree, but in the spirit of the suggestion box, what do you want? For every chibi to say that I'm the richest dog and not Scrooge McDuck! <laughs> <sighs> the loud duck speaks for himself. But what we desire is to rule the chibi verse with an iron fist! <laughs> <laughs> Villains felt left out, and we've got some chibi adventures with villains. Is this true? Oh, you'll see.
Yes, you're right. We saw ghosts, specters, and then an adventure in which the villain was defeated. From now on, villains will do the winning. Audrey, time for stage two of our plan. Sure thing. This should be a blast. <laughs> Just as I thought. Unbreakable magic locked cage. Bummer. Molly, you in danger, girl. Not so fast, ladies. Yes, and now with a captive audience. The chibi villains are now in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I ever questioned your thing for cardboard cutouts.
it'll take for them to realize those are just cardboard cutouts of us? I don't know. Some of these chibis aren't playing with a full deck. Glum, good like shark. <laughs> We've got to find a way to stop these villains. More importantly, save the pit parade. I wish we had some help, but all of our friends are locked in a cage. Locked. Molly, that's it. Puff can pick locks, remember? If you distract the villains, I can make it to Puff and get him to let all our friends out. I was born to be a distraction. Hello, fellow cheaty villains, it's me, Eva Elizabeth. You know, that, that villain from that evil place. She sounds evil. I'll buy it! Troy Bolton and Gabriella met at a ski lodge party on New Year's Eve. He plays basketball, she does decathlon. But like, for science and math. Deep down they both wanna sing out. They inadvertently try out for the school play. Miss Starbus offers a call back that really ticks off Sharpay. We'll come back to her later. Now everyone at school's inspired to follow all their dreams. Then Chad and Taylor say no, no, no. Stay in your lane, yeah, stick to the status quo. Then they hatch a scheme to make Troy talk trash. How did he not see that webcam? Dad gives up on the callback. Subsequently, Troy's basketball game's all off. They make up, but Sharpay tells Miss Darvis to schedule the callback at the same time as the basketball championship in Scholastic Decathlon. But through hacking the gym's power, and some weird chemistry. They make the call back, get cast as leads. Even though Sharpay arguably earned it more. Wildcats win their game, then they sing and dance. We're all in this together! I may be an evil villain, but even I found myself rooting for Troy and Gabriella. Puff, do your thing! The time has come, pets. Today is our Independence Day. <laughs> this can't be good. Hey! Ah! <laughs> ah! Be defeated by a few mere pets. Too late, bro. And you can stay there. Uh, you won this time, Chibis. But we'll be back. We'll. Most of us will be back. And now that we've restored peace to the Chibiverse, we can finally end the show with the Chibi Pet Parade. Watching the